Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge because everyone makes this common mistake. So here's our challenge: three times three minus two divided by two inside parentheses. The first line it looks like pretty easy, but a lot of students make this common mistake. So right now I want you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Option A, option B, or option C, or option D. And in the end of the video, we will check our answers. It will be really interesting, I promise you. So here's our challenge. We have three inside parentheses. We have three minus two dividing by two. Here's our challenge. As you can see, here we have multiplication sign, we have subtraction sign, we have division sign, right? A lot of students start with multiplication, another part of students start with subtraction. In terms of math, we should know what is the correct order because whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we should know what is the correct order. We can solve our challenges randomly, we can do whatever we want. Let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS order of operation. And how does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Parentheses has the higher position, it means that parentheses has the higher priority. Next step is exponents, it's like 2 squared, 2 cubed, like that. Next multiplication division group, last step is addition and subtraction. So let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. Here's our challenge. 3 times 3 minus 2 dividing by 2 inside parentheses. So what we should do at first? We should evaluate the expression inside parentheses because parentheses has the higher position. This is our first step. We should find our parentheses. Parentheses we have right here. What do we have inside parentheses? We have two sciences. We have division sign. We have subtraction sign. What we should do at first? We should subtract or we should divide. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Division we have right here. Subtraction we have right here. Division has the higher position than subtraction. It means that division has the higher priority. Our second step after finding parentheses, this is division. We should divide 2 dividing by 2. What do we have? We have 3 inside parentheses. We have 3 minus 1, right? We complete our second step division. Our third step is subtraction because subtraction side is inside parentheses. So what do we have? We have 3. We have 3 inside parentheses. We have, we have 2, right? We have 2. And our last step, our last step is multiplication, right? This is our first step. As you can see, we don't have any exponents, we don't have any addition sciences. So, 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Option A, right? This is the correct answer to this challenge. This is a correct approach, correct solution. Because we solve this challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. First, we find our parentheses. Parentheses we have right here. Inside parentheses, we have two sciences. We have division sign. We have subtraction sign. First, we uh, first we divide because division has the higher position than subtraction. Division has the higher priority. 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. Next step is subtraction, because subtraction side is inside parentheses. 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Our last step is multiplication. Multiplication 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Option A, this is the correct answer to this challenge. This is the correct approach, correct solution. And guys, we can solve our challenges randomly. We can do whatever we want. We should know what is the correct order. Because all the time, a lot of students argue with each other about that. We should know what is the correct property, correct definition. If we start with multiplication, we have one answer. If we start with subtraction, we have another answer. We should know what is the correct order. So, option A, this is the correct answer to this challenge. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So, thank you for your time. Have a great day, guys. And see you in the next videos.